And it pretty much looks like Harry Potter land. What's up, P-Nation? Today's number five on our great Romanian road trip. And today we are going to Corville Castle, where Vladimir the Impaler was imprisoned. Which is like the creator of Dracula, so we're like going to see Dracula. This, is, was, this was his big turning point. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going all the way to Timisor, which is practically on the border of Hungary. Yeah, so we're going very far today. <laughs> anyway, so we gotta jump in the car. We gotta get... So an hour later we have made it, but we've done a couple things that we didn't show you guys. We went to the grocery store, we just ate lunch in our car right there. <laughs> and we actually sat there for an hour because this place was crazy yeah. an hour ago. So many people were walking up and down and we looked on Google and they were like, the worst time to go is 1 p.m. on a Sunday, which was the time it is, it's now two. So we waited a whole hour yeah. and it definitely died down a lot. So I'm really happy <laughs> we did that. It was really crazy when we got here. Yeah, yeah. And now we're gonna hike down the mountain to the gift shop that we buy your ticket and then go sure. to the castle. Whoa, and we're getting our first look. It is beautiful. It's super intricate. It looks like more elaborate than any other castle we've seen in Romania on our trip so far. Yeah, it looks very gothic. Gothic, this kind of like- This is the Transylvania yeah. castle we've been looking for. Like you right now, pretty gothic. Yeah, I'm Morticia. <laughs> so I don't know if this is like something traditional. I don't think it would be. We're not close to, close to the ocean at all. But that we keep on seeing these like huge, like pots of paella and other seafood, like shrimp, octopus, and paella. What? Okay, so a brief history of the castle. It was built in 1446 in Renaissance Gothic style. It was built on top of an older existing fortification. They wanted to make it larger. And it pretty much looks like Harry Potter land, so I'm loving it personally. <laughs> now let's take a look inside. There's like, they're trying to like tell you which way to go, but there are so many corridors, it's impossible to figure out like one way to get through this. Yeah. Oh, that's the low ceiling. This is a real great hall, not to be confused with the other one that I... Not the hallway. <laughs> I've shown you a couple of pieces of stained glass that are like broken, but this is like real stained glass. Like if I pushed hard, it would just like kind of evaporate and it wouldn't actually crack, it would just, the steel isn't as strong because it's welded together. This is really cool. I'm always using stained glass and it's like actually intact. This is not, this is a real deal. How are you this feeling? Is like looking at my kingdom. Also, 
So I feel like a king looking at my kingdom, but also like I'm imagining being like an archer, like having to hide <laughs> and like be ready to, you know, like you don't have that much time because people are also shooting at you. I feel like if I was part of this castle, I would be like a cook or something, like stuck in the kitchen. No action. Speaking of cooking, we would be in the kitchen, which is oh, actually yeah. on the other side of the wall from where she said I would be. So Here. we would still be close. Aww. fun because you can see the really old parts where the fire would have been. It's like all black. It's probably where they have a fire extinguisher. So much fire. So as you can see, first level, second level, third level right there. It's like when the fire came, the roof just like tore down every single floor. And now they're just left with the walls. It's so dark. Why is it so dark? Oh! guys they have a bear pit so they had a bear and they would throw prisoners down into this pit with the bear so that the bear could kill and eat them this was the actual torture chamber Torture room. Yes. There, the, the saying or the myths go that Vlad the Impaler was kept here as a prisoner. We don't know if he was tortured. We don't know if that's where he got the idea of impalement, but it's got some history to it. Here. It's like a party down here. As you can see, the line for seafood is crazy big. We're really hungry, so we're gonna look for some Romanian food now. And we have made it to downtown, as you can hear, the bells are going off. And Leah has been researching for a while to find the great Romanian place we're about to go to. So I hope they have some delicacies Me that too. we are interested <laughs> in. So as you can see, we have tons of food in front of us. But we wanted to start off with sacusque, which is a tomato, eggplant, onion, red pepper, kind of like sauce or paste. It's very traditional here in Romania. Let's see how it looks. Well, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Big flavor. It also has a little bit of tomato paste, so it's got like a tomato-y, eggplant-y, surprisingly fresh flavor, even though it's like cooked down into a paste. It's very kind of like acidic, and it's spiced a little bit. This is much better than I expected it to be. I'm also getting hints of lemon, maybe? So I got the pork knuckle with Romanian baked beans. This is one of the more traditional Romanian dishes here. It's pretty much just like the part of the pork leg that's between like the ankle and the foot and they, they smoke it for a really long time and then they boil it with beans. They take it out and then they bake the beans with the tomatoes and it just looks so good and it smells amazing. Wow. Uh, it has great smoky flavor. It kind of tastes like if you've ever had a smoked turkey leg at a state fair, Texas state fair specifically, it kind of tastes like that but really, really juicy. It has like a slight ham flavor to it, but it's really like a smoked meat flavor and it is so tender. And these beans, I was telling Zach that the thing I was most excited to try were actually the beans, which seems so silly. I love beans because they can take on so many different flavors. So like they definitely have a smoky flavor, maybe a little paprika in there and some tomato. They are so good. There is so much meat on this pork knuckle. I don't think I can actually finish it. And I finish usually everything. 
I am a girl who finishes her plate every day, and I cannot. There's so much meat here. I had no idea what Romanian food tasted like, so yeah. thank you, Leah, for finding that place. You're welcome. <laughs> it was very satisfying. My stomach is very full right oh, now. <laughs> same, same here, same here. We're going to be driving for like two hours now, so enjoy the B-roll, and we will see you <laughs> at, what's our next town? Timisora. Timisora. private room and it got our own bath and everything but she greeted us so warmly and she made us like lemon with mint water and she gave us like sugar packets just in case we wanted to make it sweet and there's roses and there's this lovely view and we are just so happy this has been a wonderful travel day and a great way to end the evening. And just like that, three hours later, we made it <laughs> to Tamasora. Is that how you say this place? Tamasora. Tamasora. Yes. yes, I'm still so full from dinner. Yeah. That was an amazing meal. And we got here, and as you just saw, we just got greeted with lemonade. It's amazing. And we're just so happy that the road trip is being a lot more than we expected. Day number five was amazing. <laughs> We're really hungry, so we're gonna actually look for some Hungarian food now. Romanian food. Romanian. What? So we're, okay, we're coming out of like the Great Hall. It's, not the great, it's like the hallway. It's a hallway. It's not the Great Hall. <laughs> I mean, 